everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're back with a little bit of an update with the Parrot AR drone flight recorder. If you recall, this is the, uh, it's these orange thing here. This is the device that will allow your Parrot AR drone to fly to GPS coordinates. And uh, we had an issue with the uh, last review in that the data wasn't coming back from Parrot headquarters into our iPad app, and now it is. It looks like they had some server trouble last week. So let me just show you on a map here, and then I'm going to show you a really cool crash we had earlier. But um, basically, it'll take the uh, the coordinates that it gets from the GPS, and uh, it builds a really neat, almost three dimensional flight map of uh, of of how your flight went. And you can see here, um, we went up actually pretty high. You can hit the play button, and it will recreate the uh, the altitude that you and the direction um, that you ended up in. Now, my drone, as you can see, uh, uh, took a pretty perilous journey here. <laughs> it uh, it climbed and climbed and climbed, got caught in the wind, ran out of battery, and then it uh, thankfully crashed not on a roof or in the water. So, um, but nevertheless, you can get an idea of how it works. It even uh, embeds your video down here as well as you're playing it back. I just thought it was a really cool little feature uh, that you get when you purchase the uh, AR drone flight recorder. And uh, really neat, actually. I'm really, really impressed with it. So um, now I want to show you uh, the actual video from this flight. So uh, let's uh, let's take a look and see what happened exactly. I got a couple camera angles here for your enjoyment. So this is taken from uh, my new pivot head glasses. So uh, we took off without a problem. And my objective was to see if I could get it to go really, really high and then have it hold its position. And uh, it did go really, really high, but it didn't hold its position. And as you can see, the battery is just like dropping down to nothing. All that climbing apparently takes a lot out of that battery because it was 100% when we took off or 98%. And by the time we got about 72 meters up, almost 100 meters up, uh, that's when the battery really started giving me some indicators that we got to get this thing back down. Um, it climbed, it continued to climb quite a bit. It had a nice view of the Connecticut River here, as you can see. Uh, but then we, uh, we hit some turbulence and the wind is really strong up there and it's more than this thing can handle. So even though the GPS will try to keep it centered in the same place, if the wind is really strong, uh, it's going to have a hard time with that. And uh, look how high it got. It was, it was, it was way up there. I was, I was really concerned that I was never going to see this thing again, given the battery indicator. Uh, you can see the wind really buffeting it now. And, and this is a problem that I had on my other video of uh, the high altitude flight. Uh, and it's really indicative here that even though you have all this automation, it doesn't really uh, give you the ability to fly this thing like you would uh, an airplane. This is still under the uh, FAA mandated uh, altitude, in case you're wondering. So now you can see how how fast it's going here. It's it's starting to lose control. And um, I think it has like a mode that brings it down really quickly to uh, get it there before the battery dies. And here it here it comes and you can see it. Uh, now <laughs> crashing <laughs> and there's a pond right near there and thankfully it, it landed upside down right here uh, and believe it or not uh, the the drone is still functional here's the crash again one more time for your uh, viewing pleasure but the drone believe it or not is still working I can't believe that it actually survived this it's crashed before and I've had to uh, buy some replacement parts for it this time it actually uh, managed to, uh, to to live to fly another day so uh, so that is uh, the, the flight recorder. So the flight recorder will give you some functionality, but uh, don't plan to fly it up to its highest altitude and expect it uh, to stay in one place. But I have seen at lower altitudes where you don't have as strong of a wind grabbing it, uh, it will do pretty well. So if you're going to do a high altitude flight, I suggest going to a park or someplace where you can be assured that you're going to get your drone back. And it also might be a good idea to get the new high capacity battery that they just released because this battery uh, only gave us about three or four minutes of flight uh, with an altitude that high. So uh, just bear all of those things in mind so you don't lose your $400 drone. So this is Lon Seib and thanks again for watching.